Hi everyone, my name is Kalia Marshall and I'm a teaching artist with National Dance Institute. I am here today with NDI musician Lee Badania. In our improvisation today, we're going to be exploring different body parts, different types of movement, and different levels in which we can move on. So I'm going to be improvising, Lee will be improvising, and you will be improvising. Let's get to it. All right, dancers, so start moving your head. So we're just trying to see how many different ways your head can move. It might be smooth, it might be sharp, looking in all different directions. And you can just let the rest of your body respond to that movement. Now let's move down into our shoulders. Your shoulders might move together. They might move in different ways from one another. See how many different ways that your shoulders can move. And again, the rest of your body can just respond to that. Let's add the whole arms. So your arms can be reaching through the space. You might make circles, you might make straight lines. Big movement with the arms. Let's start to move our torso. It's moving the spine. This might be a twist, right? An arch, you can curl, you can lengthen your spine. Good, you start to move your hips. You might imagine like you're doing a big hula hoop. Right? Making some figure eights with your hips, moving them sharp. Right? Different ways. Let's move down into the legs. Right? We have our hip joints, we have our knee joints, our ankle joints. Lots of different ways that the legs can move and take us through space. Right? You can get low, you can get higher. And then start to move your feet, feel your toes wiggling. You might make points on the floor. Or Draw big lines on the ground, right? You might kick your feet up into the sky. <gasps> Beautiful. And let's pause. All right, so you're gonna pick one body part to lead with, and this body part is going to move you through your space, no matter if your space is small or if it's big. So you'll lead with this body part, moving in all different directions, all different ways. The rest of your body can move too, but that one point is the thing that is bringing you from place to place. I'm gonna start with my elbow. What part of your body are you gonna start with? All right, here we go. Start leading with that body part, moving in all different directions. a new body part to lead with. This time, I'm gonna lead with my ear. What about you? All right, here we go. Leading with that body part. How many ways can that body part move? <laughs> my, my ear can't really move, but it can lead me through the space. body part to lead with, a totally different body part. I'm going to pick my right hip. What about you? All right, leading with that body part. Here we go. Good. See what kind of quality that body part brings you. Is it smooth? Is it sharp? You play with your rhythm. So sometimes you might be doing a slow motion. Other times, it might be really fast. And freeze. Nicely done, dancers. So now, we're going to play with different types of movement. We're going to play with straight movement, angular movement, curvy movement, and twisted movement. So let's start with curvy. You're going to imagine like your body is, is water, is watery, it's it's wavy, it's swaying, all right? So making curves and circles with your body. When I say go, make a curvy shape and freeze. Ready, go. All right, Lee's gonna start improvising music and we're gonna begin dancing. or with your whole body. You can come onto the floor if you have space. Again, play with your speed. Moving slow motion. Moving fast. And pause. Great. Let's use sh straight shapes 
now. Straight elbows, straight knees. It's really hard to bend, to dance, excuse me. Hard to dance without bending your, your elbows and your knees. Let's try it. Ready? When I say go, find a straight shape. Ready and go. Oops, I bent my knee. See if you can keep your elbows and your knees completely straight. But I kind of like it. Ready and freeze. All right, the next movement is twisted. Imagine like you're a pretzel. You're twisting and untwisting over and over and over again. See how many body parts you can twist. When I say go, make a twisted shape. Ready, go. I'm going to twist my fingers. All right, here we go. Get yourself really twisted up. How many different ways can you twist your body? How many parts of your body can you cross over another part of your body? Good. Maybe your eyes can twist, your tongue can twist. Let's freeze. Great, that was excellent. All right, the last movement is angular or pointed. So you're now you're really gonna use all of your joints and find as much bending in your body as you can. When I say go, find an angular shape. Ready, go. Here we go. Make it really sharp. That looks amazing. All right, so now we're gonna use levels. Oh my gosh, what's happening? The ceiling is starting to come down. Oh no! Dancers, we're gonna dance on a low level to begin, staying as close to the floor as you possibly can. Are you ready? You're using all of your body parts. You're using all different ways of moving, straight, curvy, Twisted, sharp, um, angular. Let's do it. Make sure you stay low. Don't bump your head. Oh, oh. Keep going. Nice. Freeze. Oh, the ceiling is beginning to rise up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's going higher and higher and higher. How high can you reach? We have all of this space, dancers, huge high level dancing. Here we go. Can you jump? Good. What parts of your body can get high? And freeze. Great, oh my gosh. The ceiling's coming, oh, it stopped right there. Medium level, ready, go. Don't forget about your twisted shapes, your straight, your angular, your curvy. and slow motion and medium motion. We're gonna use body parts, ways of movement, levels, all of that. Exploring quick and slow. Ready? Find any shape you want. Go. 
when the music begins, let's start. Let's follow the music, actually. If Lee is playing slow, we'll go slow. If Lee is playing fast, we'll go fast. Let's try it out. Let's see what music Lee plays. Get back into your pose. with me. Beautiful, beautiful improvisation. And um, we'll see you again next time. Bye. Thanks for joining.